Well, good morning, everybody. So, today we were supposed to go and check out the outdoor attractions. It was supposed to be a beautiful day. Of course, the weatherman has changed his prediction. You know, I always wondered why they don't give the weatherman or woman a office with windows. You know, I think that would really help them out. You know, it's just a little, just a little thought up here. But anyways, um, we still are going to try maybe to go to the one attraction. But unfortunately, Verizon did exactly what I thought they were going to do. My bill is $45 more than it's supposed to be. And I asked the guy, because it said this is going to be the bill and this should be the bill. And I'm like, this is not the bill we're talking. This is the bill we're talking. He's like, oh, no, that's just because. And, you know, salesman speak in one ear, out the other. So we're going to have to go yell at them. And uh, I had 30 days on this phone. Of course, they took my old phone for the trade-in, right? So, again, if I say, hey, I don't want this anymore, how do I get my other phone back? Yeah. So, I don't know what's going to happen. But, all right, I'm going to get dressed, uh, put the last couple window covers away, and uh, we're going to head through town, see if we can't find the uh, outdoor athletic park kind of place. Because I'd really like to check out that uh, uh, surfing spot. Uh, a little more up close, you know what I mean? So we're going to go check those things out, look around a little bit, and then we'll head to Verizon. And then the odds are, since I have to drive a half an hour to Verizon, uh, we won't be coming back here tonight. Um, I would probably be moving, well, hopefully I find out about the job today or tomorrow. At worst, I'll call them uh, Monday. Hmm. But probably will not be coming back here tonight. We may then stealth camp. I talked to a van dweller here uh, who's been local for uh, quite a while. And he told me some uh, spots and some kind of rules. So we may even try to van dwell to, or, you know, stealth. I mean, it's not stealth camp and you know I'm sleeping in it. So, all right, let's get dressed and uh, run some errands head to town. All right, we got somebody going in. See how they do. And it's so cool. It's just a man-made little full-time wave. Who said you couldn't surf in Eastern Oregon? That is so cool. Alright. So anyways, this is the whole Whitewater Park. And you got people down there fly fishing. This is really cool. Yeah, so you kayak, you can float, surf. This is pretty darn cool. Guy's still going at it over there. It's a pretty darn neat place. We stay in this area, we may have to come back and uh, partake a little bit. I wouldn't mind getting out there and trying to surf a little bit. It's definitely a really cool place.
All right, so. All righty. So we got to go to Verizon. Wish it was a more a prettier day out. I mean, it's warming up, but it's overcast. Looks like it wants to rain. So we have to go to Verizon. And as I, and as I said, I probably am not coming back uh, here. So, you know, I want to try another corn dog. <laughs> so I think we're going to run to the corn dog place. Um, maybe get a couple of them, actually. Uh, yeah, not bad, reheated, really. Do that, and uh, then we'll head to Verizon and see what the, where the heck we're going to go. All right, like I said, though, this is a pretty cool whitewater park. All right, let's head back to the vehicle. All right, guys, like I said, there's a lot down here. I mean, that's a big amphitheater. Um, what the heck's going on back there? There's a lot of stuff around here. Somewhere around here, there is a uh, some ice skating rink I was talking about. I don't know where that went. Like I said, you know, I'm not from here. Turn left on Southwest Columbia Street. But there's a lot of stuff going on around here. It's a pretty cool area. Obviously, yeah, that's Metro Southwest Recreation Columbia District Street. Office. There's another big park over here on the river. To the end of the street, this, then turn right. If she'd stop yelling at me all the time. Another river access place down here. There is so much to do in this area outdoors. It's no wonder why uh, everybody's outdoors all the time around here. Big dog park back there. All kinds of places to walk and bike and hike. And... This definitely is an outdoor area, let me tell you. All right, well, I gotta get up here to this uh, Darren Roundabout. We'll head to Walmart quick and then Turn we'll go get our hot dog. Southwest. Okay, everybody. So, went to Verizon. Hopefully, it's taken care of. Um, stopped at Wally World. Got some water. A couple little ins and outs. Um, it's a really warm day, but it's still overcast and cruddy. So, I know. Uh, I think we're going to actually head back to that spot we were in. I have a couple more days I can stay there before my 14 is up. And the other place I was going to stay is like 35 miles from town. So I don't want to drive that far today. Um, because I'm still waiting to hear about that job. Hopefully uh, today or tomorrow. So I think we're going to drive back to where we were. Set camp back up. It's not a bad place. It's just a big parking lot pretty much. And there's some nice people that come and go. So, all right, we're going to drive back there and uh, set back up. Let's see what we see. Well, so here's that indoor slash outdoor ice rink. Um, they have a bunch of basketball hoops over in the corner, too. So, I guess they must play uh, some ball in here and, as well. But, like I said, this whole area's got a lot of sporting stuff going on. So yeah, I just thought we'd stop here quick and take a look at that. All right. Let's... Well, folks, we are back to camp. And I did a little driving around as well today. I've definitely found about four really good spots to uh, 
to City Park. So if I get a job here in this town, I believe I found several good places that I could rotate very easily through and, you know, only spend, you know, two nights a week at each place. So I think uh, that is looking positive. We've got the Forest Service. Looks like they're uh, checking everybody out here today. Um, like I said, I've, I've got several days left that I can stay here. But it's the first time I've seen uh, anybody really pay attention to this this lot. So, we're all set up. You know, I, it feels a lot warmer than it is. It's only 58 degrees. The sun is, you know, in and out from the cloud. You know, it's half cloudy, half not cloudy. It's overcast. But, still a nice day. All right. I'm going to sit down and watch some YouTube, guys. If anything happens, I'll show you. Well, everybody, we're in the bean pod. And it's cold outside. And it's supposed to be kind of nasty, rainy next couple days. Still hoping to find out about um, the position I applied for. But what we're going to do is reheat. See, this is the problem <coughs> with this stove. It's like hot as heck. And then almost off. But, so what we're going to do for dinner tonight is I bought... <clears throat> Two corn dogs and a what they call a cheese bomb. Cheese bomb is basically a uh, cheese stick deep fried like a corn dog. Not sure which one I grabbed. We'll figure it out later. But we're still in a bean pod and just uh, enjoying nomad life. It's nice. So, going to go ahead and reheat this thing. I think this might be the cheese bomb. I'll figure it out when I uh, cut into it. But, yep, that's what we're doing. Right now it's 50 degrees outside. And, you know, we're here in the bean pod. We actually have the lights turned on. I normally don't do that very often. I don't know why. Just I really don't need that much light. But it's nice to have that much light sometimes when you're sitting inside. So... All right, what am I going to do here? Unfortunately, I can't find what I'm looking for. Figure that one out. So we're just going to sit here and cook up this uh, well, reheat our dinner. So, other things that have been going on. The front tire uh, hasn't gone down at all since I put the little bit of fix-a-flat stuff in there and pumped it up two days, and I drove around all day today. So... Hopefully, that helps, and we'll see what happens. So, you know, everybody thinks van life is just so 
amazing. It's just like you live in your house. It's the same thing. Just a lot smaller. And you can move. If you don't like your neighbors. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and keep cooking this. Warming it up. Then we're going to eat dinner. And uh, probably just crawl into bed and enjoy the night's sleep. One thing I am doing is I'm no longer going to heat the bean pod unless it gets below freezing. Um, last night it got down to 45 in here and I slept perfectly well. I turned the heat off. Don't need it. You know, um, my bed, my sleep system is wonderful. Um, would I like it to be like 55? Yes. But to leave the heat on and worry about that, not going to do it. So, all right, we're going to just reheat our, uh, our food and I'll show you when it's done. Well, all right. It's the cheese thing. The cheese bomb or whatever they called it. So it's done. I'm going to eat dinner. And I think I'm going to call it quits for this video. But again, this is what van life is, man. Um, it's not that exciting. It really is not. So as always, thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. And I really do like all your comments. You know, I try to get back to you, at least show that I've read them. Now, some are a little crazy, but it is what it is. But all right, you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you next time on Jellybean Outdoors.